Hi, everybody. It's me, Sheldon the Snail, from the Grandview Heights Public Library. Welcome to Drawing with Sheldon. I am so glad to see you today. Just as a reminder, we do have a moderator, so please say hello. All right. Are you ready to sing my favorite drawing song with me? Draw, draw with me, make it simple as can be. Drawing makes me happy, not sad. Drawing makes me feel good, not bad. Draw. Get simple to last your whole life long. Don't worry if it's not good enough for anyone else to see. Just draw, draw with me. That was great, everybody. Thanks for singing along. Okay. I have been really look for I have really looked forward to today because we are going to learn how to draw a sea otter. But before we do, I have a little otter joke for you. Are you ready? What kind of vehicles do sea otters like to drive? An automobile. Okay, let's let Miss Jean know we're ready to draw. Miss Jean, we're ready. Hi, everybody. I'm Miss Jean from the Grammy Heights Public Library, and welcome to Drawing with Sheldon. I am so glad to see you all today. So as Sheldon just told you, we are going to draw a sea otter. We are going to turn our paper horizontally today, just like this. And I'm going to write the word sea otter on top of our page. S-E-A, C, and then otter, O T T. E R. So we're going to start by drawing the head of the otter. So we're going to make a little circle just like that. And we're going to give him two little ears and two eyes. And a nose and a little mouth. Now sea otters live in really chilly water and so they don't have any blubber to keep them warm like other marine animals. Instead, they rely on their thick fur to keep them warm. So now we are gonna draw the otter like this and like this. We're gonna draw the otter on its back with his front paw here and the other front paw on the other side. And another fun fact is that sea otters usually swim on their backs on the water's surface and they use their stomachs as a table. They sometimes use a tool as a rock to open a hard shell so they can eat their food and they keep a shell. We can draw a little shell here on their chest. Like that. So you'll often see an otter with something on its chest. And then you have the back feet, which are the flippers. And then the otter's tail, which helps um, the otter stay, um, help him swim in the water. So now I'm going to draw him 
neat water here. And another really cute thing is um, while otters sleep in the water to keep themselves from drifting apart, they actually hold each other's paws so they don't float away from each other. I thought that was really cute. We're gonna just put him in the water here like that. And you see the otter floating on his back in the water. And now we are going to see what Sheldon has drawn. And there he drew a pretty sky and you can see the otter floating in the water. And I hope you'll have a lot of fun drawing your otter at home today. So I wanted to thank you so much for joining me. And just remember to check out our YouTube channel, our great book lists, and our song lists. And don't forget to watch Miss Rachel on Monday at 11 o'clock. So until next time, have a great week and keep drawing and keep smiling. Bye-bye.